When Ruby Rose posted some seductive photos from a recent trip on social media earlier this week, everyone on the internet turned to stare. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Drusky uploaded one of his own photos to Instagram not long after she did. He revealed a picture of the two of them reclining beneath a palm tree, appearing remarkably intimate for Simply Pals. Naturally, this gave rise to unfounded speculations that they are a couple. Drewby, he captioned the post. You love me huh baby, she commented at the time. Since the comedian and artist, models seemed to be dating out of the blue, early social media commenters assumed that they were only trolling. Some others countered that although it's an odd marriage, it's a wonderful attention getter and viewer trick. But as of late, it seems like the two are welcoming the rumors. They appear to be in full relationship mode in one of Ruby's most recent Instagram stories, holding hands as they drive and enjoy music. Though it's possible that all of this is a joke, viewers are now more persuaded than ever after seeing this most recent post. Now that they're expressing their opinions, most of them concur that they think Ruby and Drusky would make a nice relationship. If their relationship is genuine or if they are just pals seeking to incite their supporters, only time will tell. Apart from the gossip, Drusky and Ruby have been rather active lately. Ruby's achieved great success on OnlyFans, while Ruby's could have been how series continues to garner views. Drusky, would you like to see? Yeah, I'm, nigga, I'm ready. Colorism claims have been made against Kai Senet and Drusky after Drusky claimed that a woman who was also on Senet's webcast had manly looks. Why are you quiet? Nah, I'm just uh, in shock. The explanation is straightforward, despite the fact that many internet commenters found it puzzling that the comments were colorist given they made no mention of her skin. Some of the features are kind of... Wait, what the fuck? The long-held belief that black women are less aesthetically feminine than non-black women was strengthened by Druska's remarks. Misogynoir is another term used to characterize this attitude toward black women. Nah. No, 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 no. But there has been equally strong loud support for the backlash. Drusky and Senate have not responded to the situation. Many others have jumped to the couple's support in the meanwhile. 100% woman, fuck out of here! No! Hey Drusky, you and your cholesterols need to calm the fuck down, nigga. When it comes to Drusky and King Harris, it is difficult to take anything too seriously. They have been engaged in this beef for approximately a month. I can't believe this nigga just tried to call me pussy in the interview. But everything looks a little too suspicious, especially since the comedian's program, Could Have Been House, is about to launch on YouTube. And it should be a blast. The reality parody's premise is that a winner will sign a contract with the record label Could Have Been and receive a $50,000 grand prize. It looks like there might be some drama in the beginning, possibly even in the first episode. Y'all made it to the next level. I'm a comedian, bro. Yeah. Hold on! MSN claims that Drusky appeared on The Breakfast Club to discuss the program and his disagreements with King Harris and Birdman. King <laughs> Harris, son. Oh, come on, man. That nigga pussy, man. Drusky's single standing on business was named differently from the latter, which was the basis of their distinctions. It looked like you got a pussy and you walk with a strap. King Harris? What we talking about, man? Come on, man. With assistance from DJ Drama, Snoop Dogg, and BNYX, Stand In On Bennis was released last weekend to promote the comedy series. Nigga, you got your dad legs and your mama body. King Harris believed he popularized it, even though he acknowledged he was not its sole creator. Things got heated when Drusky called Harris a after he pulled up on the set of Could Have Been House. <laughs> he, he don't know shit about standing on no business, man. <laughs> they essentially had a stare down and nothing really ever happened. The comedian quickly changed his tone saying, I f with King Harris, though. He's cool. We from the same way, and f with King. In the Instagram video, Harris is still pursuing Drusky, though. He was just dick riding, called me the new King stand on business. King used every analogy imaginable to describe a guy as a woman, and then some. Oh my god. It look like you sit down when you pee. Once more, none of this is easy to believe, but time will tell. King Harris, the son of T.I. has vowed to pull up on Drusky for his song Stand In On Binus, citing his popularization of the phrase as justification. Usually, Drusky makes people laugh on the internet, but this week, he's got King Harris feeling very strongly. Yeah. T.I.'s kid felt obliged to go live on Instagram and air his grievances after coming across a promotional post seeking extras for the comedian's stand-in on Binus music video. I ain't created, but I'm the one that got everybody saying it, you hear me? Harris wants credit for helping the word become well-known, although not necessarily claiming to be the first person to utter it. Hey, do that? I stand on me, I ain't created. I'll be alive. I say I created it. Especially after a heated argument with his parents in late 2023. You know I stand on me. Kid saying it. Who got everybody saying it? It's me. He ranted to viewers earlier this week. Because when Drewski was saying it, all this ain't happened. 
Harris further admitted. However, he did point out that athletes and other public figures didn't use it as frequently until after his family's viral feud. I gotta go put up on this f***ing time by he go, he's standing up business and Prior to Druska's impending release contributing to the standing on business phenomenon even more, Harris merely wishes to make sure he receives recognition for his contributions. The 19-year-old sounds self-assured, but the internet is divided on whether he has a point thus far. Drusky appears to be carrying over his 2023 success into the new year, as he continues to film his stand in on Binus video. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.